Good afternoon everyone and welcome to Langston House on this very special day to celebrate the marriage of Richard and Jessica and if all of our guests would please like to take their seats, thank you. Rich and Jess have invited you all here today to share in their joy at being married and from today onwards they will be husband and wife and they are honoured that you have joined them here to help celebrate this very special occasion for them. May I first take a moment to introduce ourselves. My name is Karen Van Leven and I will be conducting the ceremony and leading our couple through their declarations and vows. My colleague Leonie Bannum is the registrar for today and it is her duty to make the legal written record of the ceremony. We are both members of the Hampshire Ceremonies team and we're delighted to be with you. You may like to know that the registry in which Leonie is about to write will be returned later today to the register office in Winchester. But once it has been fully completed, it will be taken to the Hampshire Records Office, where it will remain in the strong room with all the other marriage registers for Hampshire some of which date back to 1837. So today you are both making a piece of the social history of Hampshire and we thank you. So at this point, I would like to invite Sharon to step forward and she is going to do our first reading. My true love hath my heart and I have his. By exchange, one for another given. I hold his dear and mine he cannot miss. There never was a bargain better driven. His heart in me gives me, keeps me and him in one. My heart in him, his thoughts and senses guides. His love, he loves my heart for once it was his own. I cherish his because in me it bides. My true love hath my heart and I have his. Thank you very much, Sharon. The civil marriage ceremony is the exchange of vows by means of two declarations. In the first, the bride and groom will state that they are free to marry. And in the second declaration, they will make their marriage promises to each other. And as the ceremony starts, it is my duty to tell you that the place in which we are now met 
has been duly sanctioned according to law for the celebration of marriages. Now it has long been tradition in many parts of the world for the bride to be given by her father in marriage, thereby publicly expressing his pleasure at the couple's decision to marry. At this point, I would like to invite Gino to step forward. Thank you very much. Because today the honour is yours. You have brought Jess here to stand alongside Rich so that they can say their vows of marriage to one another. And I must ask you, are you happy for them to marry? Yes. <laughs> Thank you. And do you wish them well on their journey through life together? Yes, I do. Great happiness. Thank you very much. And you are all here today to witness the joining in matrimony of Richard James Hawkins and Jessica Lee Pandolfi. If anyone here present knows of any lawful impediment to this marriage, they should declare it now. I can see rows of smiling faces, so please don't look so <laughs> And before you are married, I must remind you of the solemn and binding character of the vows you are about to make. Marriage, according to the law of this country, is the union of one man with one woman, voluntarily entered into for life to the exclusion of all others. Further, it is a solemn union to provide the love and friendship, help and comfort that each should have for one another, both in times of joy and in times of trouble. It's not to be entered into lightly, nor is it lightly to be set aside. Rich and Jess, at this point I have to ask each of you in turn to make a declaration that, that to the best of your knowledge and belief there is no lawful impediment to your marriage. We're starting with our groom. So can I ask you, are you, Richard James Hawkins, free lawfully to marry Jessica Lee Pandolfi? I am. Are you, Jessica Lee Pandolfi, free lawfully to marry Richard James Hawkins? I am. Marriage is a desire by two people to share themselves and their experiences with each other and a willingness to accept each other for who they are. Today we see Rich and Jess take what is a decisive and a momentous step, a step that will bring its challenges and triumphs, its consolations and rewards. And it is a statement to all present that you have found such love, friendship and support that you wish to spend the rest of your lives together. Marriage is not only a legal contract between two people, but it marks the start of an important journey in your lives together. Marriage requires devotion, the ability to listen, sometimes to even say sorry. But most of all, it requires unquestioning love. And as a consequence of this love, you have drawn closer to each other and now wish to publicly declare your relationship and to offer each other the security that comes from the vows you are about to make. So, may I ask you, Jess, please to pop your very beautiful flowers into the room. Which could you pop down? Thank you. If I can ask you to turn and face one another and join hands. The reason being, you are about to make your marriage promises to each other, to no one else in the room. Okay. Starting with our groom, if I could ask you to repeat after me. I, Richard James Hawkins. I, Richard James Hawkins. Take thee, Jessica Lee Pandolfo. Take thee, Jessica Lee Pandolfi. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. I, Jessica Lee Pandolfi. I, Jessica Lee Pandolfi. Take thee, Richard James Hawkins. Take thee, Richard James Hawkins. To be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. So Rich and Jess have made their vows to each other, and now in a traditional way they will seal the marriage by the giving and receiving of rings. But first of all, the rings have to arrive, so then, <laughs> over to you. Gentlemen, we have Earl to thank for the <laughs> 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 
Thank you very much for that, Ben. <laughs> I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a symbol of our marriage. As a symbol of our marriage. And my love for you. And my love for you. I promise to be there when you need me. I promise to be there when you need me. To be your true companion and friend. To be your true companion and friend. Whatever the future may bring. Whatever the future may bring. I give you this ring as a symbol of our marriage as a symbol of our marriage and my love for you and my love for you I promise to be there when you need me I promise to be there when you need me to be your true companion and friend to be your true companion and friend whatever the future may bring whatever the future may bring The wedding ring is an unbroken circle it has no beginning and no end and it symbolises unending and everlasting love and is an outward sign of the lifelong promises you have made to each other today. Marriage is a partnership. It demands courage. The courage to be open and the courage to grow and change with one another. It is the joining of two hearts. It thrives on the love you give each other and never grows old. May you always be able to talk things over, to confide in each other, laugh with each other and share moments of quiet and peace. May you always be as happy as you are today. We hope that the feeling of love you have for one another will deepen and grow ever stronger throughout the years to come. And we wish you a long and happy life together. Rich and Jess, you have made the declarations and vows that are required by law. And you have made a solemn and binding contract with each other in the presence of your witnesses family and friends all gathered here with you today. It gives me very great pleasure to announce that you are now husband and wife. And you may kiss your beautiful wife. gentlemen, in a moment I'm going to hand over to my colleague Leone who will take our couple and their witnesses through the signing of the register. While that is actually happening, we can't have any photographs of the actual signing, but once that has been fully completed, we will arrange for a photo opportunity for the photographers and for yourselves. Thank you. Thank you.
hand the floor over to my colleague Leone, who is going to present the couple with their marriage certificate. <coughs> <laughs> <laughs> but now this lady's first. The only problem would be that I probably think you don't have any pockets in that very beautiful dress. <laughs> so maybe a moment of trust to let your husband have a stick at the time. <laughs> 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 Just take the dress. <laughs> Drawing room of your drinks reception. I'd like to meet this video. Follow me. Thank you. Thank you. 